are getting older. Their average age is now 58, according to a census report, and it's been trending up for the last three decades. So who will grow our food when these farmers are gone? In a Two Americas report, KSHB 41 Gian Kim takes a look at why younger generations are leaving farming. Not only that, the impact of that drop off and how the industry is working to recruit more youth. Every morning like clockwork, 16 year old Ethan Estrada tends to his family farm. I have a fear that one day farming and agriculture on its own will just disappear. Pride, responsibility, and work ethic. He says the core values of American agriculture aren't lost on him. It stands as a symbol of our country. It stands as a symbol of our nation. He's seen way too many family farms break apart due to grandkids that leave the industry. Estrada plans to carry on the legacy of his. It's something that we built up and they built up throughout generations and generations. And then to see it torn down, that's not something that I want to see. So Estrada thinks the appeal of American agriculture have certainly gone down. But we talked to other farmers to find out the problem goes even deeper. Here in Palmyra, Missouri, Farmer Lowell Shotsick has been tending to his family farm since 1966. What is farming to you? Why do you do it? Well, it's, sometimes it's because it's the only thing you've ever done. <laughs> Shotsick oh, believes yeah, one of the primary longer. reasons why young farmers leave is high land prices. The USDA reports farmland inflation rates increased by 150 percent between 2004 and 2018. The land owns the farmer, so the farmer owns the land. Not to mention the return on investment is pretty slim. Probably one and a half to two percent or something like that. On top of that, breaking into the industry is a hard road to hoe. Existing farmers have already monopolized much of the industry, and families that wanted to pass on their farms lost them in the 80s when there was a surplus of farmers. If it keeps going the way it is going right now, I think you're going to see more and more land owned by fewer and fewer people, and more land's going to be owned by people that are not actually farming. <laughs> To find out what's being done to recruit younger people to American agriculture, we spent the day at the Missouri State Fair. National youth clubs like 4-H and FFA have used it as a platform to recruit, cultivate, and support future leaders in the industry. We owe so much to American agriculture, and I don't think a lot of people understand that. Erin Heineke is a member of the FFA. It's her goal to pass on the knowledge, but most importantly, passion to the next generation. The thing that a lot of people don't get over is the money situation. It's going to take people that really want to work hard and love what they do. FFA chapters host community projects throughout the year and put student agricultural experiments like these on display at big state events. I see it click in their eyes and they really understand like wow, this is what FFA does for people. It, it gives me like the warm fuzzies. <laughs> the hope is aspiring farmers will see firsthand what they do and fall in love with the craft. And what better way to recruit than that? It's a strategy Ethan Estrada has been utilizing too throughout his time at 4-H. You want some? While younger generations are seemingly losing interest in rural traditions, he says getting them involved in the small things is the first step. The love for it will undoubtedly come. Thoughts and minds change just by coming in and petting a goat, petting a chicken, you know, picking them up, picking up eggs each day. It teaches you how to work. It teaches you, most importantly, how to enjoy what you already have. There you go. Gian Kim, KISS HB 41 News. According to a 2017 survey by the National Young Farmers Coalition, these are the top challenges young farmers said they're facing. At the top of the list is access to land, followed by student loan debt, labor shortages, and a lack of affordable health insurance.